Hello everyone. Today I'll show you how to create a sales representative AI agent using Typing Mind. This agent will access your Google Meeting Calendar, understand your company's details via training data, then suggest a tailored pitch deck to help you effectively address customer inquiries and win them over. You'll need a Typing Mind custom account and a Google Calendar account to set this up. It works with the Typing Mind individual version too but with a few keynotes. Please stick around until the end for those. All right, let's get started. Step one, install the plugin on Typing Mind. If you don't have a Typing Mind chat instance yet, head over to custom.typingmind.com and create your account. Once you're in the admin dashboard, go to the plugins section and click browse plugins. You'll see a lot of built-in plugins here. Scroll down to find the Google Calendar plugin and click add to install it. You'll notice important fields like OAuth callback URL, OAuth Client ID, and Client Secret, which I'll cover later. All right, that's pretty much it for the Typing Mind part. Let's move on to the next step. Prepare the OAuth app on Google. First, go to console.cloud.google.com and select the project you want to enable the Google Calendar API for. If you don't have a project yet, just click to create a new one. Enter your project's name and hit Create. Once your project is set up, select it to get to the project page. At the top of the page, use the search bar to look for Google Calendar API. Select it, and then click Enable. You've successfully enabled the Google Calendar API. Next, head back to the Credentials section. Click Create Credentials and select OAuth Client ID. You'll need to set up the consent screen. Choose External if you're using this for yourself. No need for Google's approval. If others are going to use it, your OAuth app needs to get reviewed and approved by Google. Until then, it's only available for a limited number of test users. All right, click Create to move on to the next step. On the consent screen page, fill in the required info like app name, support email, and developer email. Then click Save and Continue. When you get to the Scopes page, search and select the Google Calendar API read-only scope for this tutorial. If you want more capabilities, like updating events, you can choose a different scope. Pro tip, you can use one OAuth app for multiple plugins, including the Login with OAuth plugin. Click Save and Continue. Here's where you'll invite test users to use the app. Add your own email as a test user and click Save and Continue. Congrats, you've finished configuring the consent screen. Now head back to the Credentials tab and click Create Credentials again, then select OAuth Client ID. Choose Web Application for Application Type and fill in the necessary info. Skip Authorized JavaScript Origin since we're not using it in this tutorial. Important, for the authorized redirect URI, enter the URI from the plugin settings in Typing Mind. Click Create and you'll get the Client ID and Client Secret. Download these for later. That wraps up Step 2 for preparing the OAuth app on Google. Now let's jump into Step 3 to continue setting up the plugin on your Typing Mind portal. Now switch back to your Typing Mind admin dashboard. Enter the client ID and client secret there and hit Save Credentials. You can also set the max number of events to fetch from Google Calendar if needed. Great job. Now your users can access the plugin through your chat instance. All right, folks, we're in the home stretch. In this final step, we're going to create a sales representative AI agent that can access your Google Calendar and help you craft the perfect pitch deck. On your Typing Mind dashboard, click on AI Agents in the left side menu. This is where you'll manage all your smart AI agents. To create a new agent, simply click the plus Create AI Agent button on the top right. Next, you'll need to fill out some general information. Enter a name for your AI agent. I'll name mine Sales Rep AI Assistant. Describe what your AI agent does so users know its purpose. You can use the handy autofill feature. Optionally, assign categories to help keep things organized. And don't forget to add a profile picture URL to give your agent some personality. Let's move on to the system instructions. This is where you'll guide your AI agent's behavior. Remember, if you're using the custom Typing Mind version, your users won't see this. Here's my prompt. I added it in the description for anyone who needs it. It's crucial to place the date time variable here to ensure your AI agent is up to date so it can access your Google Calendar events in real time. Otherwise, it will only use the training cutoff date. In the model and parameters section, assign a specific model to your agent. Choose one that fits your needs and set any custom parameters if necessary. Now, let's give your agent some skills. 
Assign the Google Calendar plugin. You can also enable text-to-speech if that's relevant for your use case. Upload your company data files to boost your AI's domain understanding. Here is an overview of what I uploaded to Typing Mind, and you can see the total tokens consumed. There are some options to enhance the agent like access to a knowledge base, dynamic contexts, or few-shot prompts when needed. For the end-user chat experience, create a welcoming first message. I used autofill again. I also added conversation starters to give a few handy commands for my end users. Before wrapping up, you can adjust your usage settings. Set who can see and use your AI agent with visibility options. If needed, establish usage limits for control. Finally, click Save to bring your AI agent to life. All right, time to enjoy your results. Head to your chat instance. Now you can start using the AI agent you just created. When you first chat with it, you'll need to authenticate your Google Calendar account. Click Authenticate Now. Since my app is in test mode, click Continue as a test user. There you go, you're all set. The AI agent can now access my calendar and list all my meetings for the week. It even gives me links to the events. Super helpful. I asked it for meeting details and it highlighted all the important points. I then got it to prepare a deck for me using the company info I uploaded. Because I need it to do some market research, so I just turn on the Perplexity AI search plugin in the admin panel. Then the AI can be flexible to use the Perplexity to search the information for me. It's like having my own assistant, boosting productivity and keeping me prepared for meetings. No more complaints from the boss. If you're using the licensed version at typingmind.com, it's mostly the same with a few key differences. One, you need to provide your own OAuth app. You'll be both the admin and end user since there's no admin user in this version. Two, OAuth authentication flows entirely on your browser. There's no server or backend. Three, it's meant for single users. Sharing isn't secure since others would access your OAuth client secret. For secure sharing, I highly recommend using Typing Mind Custom. All right, that's all for now, folks. Hope this helps you create a sales rep AI agent. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. If you need anything, just comment below. Happy typing and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.